Well, welcome to my little corner of the world. This is my personal library, which I've collected over the years. And here you can see various sections of the book. Uh, this is basically more on things like sociology, history of ideas. On this section is mainly Singapore and Southeast Asia. I want to read and understand the region better. Then on this section, I have basically the Islamic collection. There is a series of Qurans, uh, collections of the sayings of the Prophet, peace be upon him. So that's, that's our little library here at my home. This is a book which I particularly like. It's about the history of Islam and its interaction with Europe. And um, in fact, I read this book twice. I was so uh, enthralled by the content that I decided to read it again so that I can remember some of the facts. Then sometimes when I get a bit bored, I need something to cheer me up. Something on golf. <laughs> just, you know, just a bit quirky information about the history of golf. On top of that, I, I, I do love Rumi, so I, I, so I, I have this book. It's a book of poems, so I bring it to the office sometimes just to calm yourself down. The other thing that I'm very interested in are uh, old books. I was hunting for this book by Arnold Toynbee. I wrote a book called the Study of History, 20 volume. Uh, never read a 20 volume, but I heard there was an abridgment. So I hunted this down and I found this book uh, in New York, you know, at The Strand, which is a famous second-hand bookshop. Basically. Well, one of the things I like to do is to sort of mark on the book the date and then if I finish reading the book, the date I finish reading the book. So I bought this book in Cairo. Um, this was towards the end of the December 2009. Sometimes I put a bit of comments, so this one I say good because I enjoyed it. Uh, the other thing I like to do in books is, unfortunately, I like to mark the books where I underline certain sections which I thought are interesting for me to remember. Sometimes I do make notes at the site. I've been reading a couple of books lately. I'm curious about a particular area which I just sort of developed an interest. This is about smell, scent, perfume. It started when I was in Oman last year. A friend of mine asked me to search for a particular perfume, uh, sandalwood smell, apparently very difficult to find that. So I thought maybe I should try and understand this better. So I decided to hunt for a book. So I went to the internet. Apparently this particular book came out as one of those highly recommended one. It's called The Secret of Scent. And so I want to hunt for the book, but I realized there is an NLB app called the NLB Mobile, which I've downloaded, that will allow me to search for the book and whether the book first is available and which library is available so that it's easy for me to go and retrieve the book. Hi, so I'm here at the Central Public Library to look for the book that I found on the NLB mobile app. I hope it's available. Well, my late father was a reader. He likes to read in the night when he comes back home. So whenever we go back home, we see the light in the bedroom is on, we know that he's reading. And he will leave his books all behind. So most of us pick up from there. And the other thing was that my eldest brother was a very brilliant student. So Every time he is first in class, he gets a book prize and we always get his storybooks, you know, that's how I started. My favourite library, of course, is the old library at Stanford Road. You know, we grew up with that library. And I have a ritual where every Saturday morning I will be at the library. And I like to go to the second floor of the library where they have all the old newspapers. I love to read old newspapers. Well, uh, libraries have certainly changed with the times. They're becoming a bit noisier, crowded, because you have different people coming in. So I think if we can cater to a whole cross-section, I think then it becomes a community space for all. I find the app a useful platform to allow Singaporeans to go online, to access the collection, borrow the collection, and at the same time use the platform to add their comments about the book. So I think in a way, it helps us to build a virtual community around the library. And I think that's a wonderful development. Well, Rosa, thank you for your help. Thank you for your assistance. Thank you. Eh? Thank, you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, so I finally got my book. So I think we should continue to use the library. It is here to serve you. And we can start from young and build up the reading culture. I think Singapore is a wonderful country of readers. We can then all enjoy our libraries and learn from one another and contribute to the growth of knowledge in Singapore.